You should go visit Diego at the arena. It's just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way on the right. Greetings! My name is Diego Santiago Corriques Ramirez III, Champion Duelist. The Duel Master bows with a great flourish of his cape. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and gain endless glory and fame. To try your hand against your classmates, enter the arena and step into the Duel Circle. If you train well, perhaps you can develop skills to rival even the great Malister, yes? What a duelist he was! He's the only person I would not want to duel in a real fight. Luckily, we only sparred for practice. Oh, speaking of Malister, did you know that he and Cyrus are twin brothers? I wouldn't be surprised if Cyrus was helping Malister with all this maze in Wizard City. You should tell Ambrose to keep an eye on Cyrus. Aha! Hello there, my friend! Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? Most excellent! This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena! You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding! Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lessons. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast a troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card, and now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pick, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! There is another way. Let me show you. I have given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. 
Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good. See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. You see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. Do you see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the Fire Elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage, spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a Fire Elf at the puppet. Good! Now watch what happens next round. And again. Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. Greetings, young wizard. I am Diego, the Duel Master. You have heard of the illustrious Wizard vs. Wizard Duels, yes? Any wizard can duel another wizard in the arena, either in a practice duel or a ranked duel. And once you reach level 10, you will be able to compete in proper tournaments. But to duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. And come back to me. You can simply click on the practice pedestal to create a duel or to accept another wizard's challenge. Practice tools are not reported and do not affect your PvP rating, but they are a fantastic way to hone your skills. To compete as a ranked duelist, click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge or to accept another wizard's challenge. You have the chance to win arena tickets, which you can redeem for prizes. And every win will increase your PvP rating. However, if you lose or flee a duel, your PvP rating will go down. The tournament pedestal will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standards. It shows you how your rating compares to other duelists. Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as an age. The length of an age is something of a mystery. Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are annulled to give every wizard another chance to shine. Now you know how to duel another wizard for practice or for ranked status. Don't forget to bring your arena tickets here to redeem for fantastic rewards. And remember, your ranked PvP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero again.
Hello again, young wizard. Now that you have reached level 10, you may participate in proper tournaments. Let us look at the tournament pedestal again, and I will tell you what you need to know. Use the tournament pedestal to see what tournaments are scheduled. To join a tournament, click the tournament name. It costs crowns to join a tournament. The cost is displayed as well as the match time and duration. You can join a tournament by yourself or with a group if you wish to compete with your friends as a team. You will be placed in a bracket and paired with wizards of a similar skill level. You will receive a notification when it is time to duel. Each tournament will have a set number of opponents to duel. You are not out of the tournament the first time you lose. Also, tournament duels last for a set amount of time. If you run out of time, I will determine the winner. When you compete in a tournament, you have a chance to win exclusive tournament prizes. Remember, you can track your rankings on the leaderboard pedestal under the tournament section. Good luck, wizard. Diego thinks that Cyrus is helping Malastia cause all this trouble on Wizard City, eh? Hey? Oh, Diego shouldn't be spreading foolish rumors. Cyrus is a good professor. I trust him completely. I'm sure you heard that Malister Drake used to teach at the death school. He was once one of our best professors, very powerful and compassionate. He loved discovering secrets of power. The only thing he loved more than power was his wife, Sylvia. May she rest in peace. If only she was still with us, things might be different. But even death cannot be undone. Speaking of issues concerning Malastia, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. Can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastia has been contacting former students. <laughs> 